My name is Ilse van Kriekingen and I'm working as an ICT consultant trainer in Belgium and I would like to welcome you to msexchange.org. In this video tutorial I would like to show you how you can configure Exchange 2000 to set the primary language for Outlook Web Access. By looking at the mailbox, we notice that there is a property called Languages. So let's have a look. I now go to the Exchange Management shell and ask for the properties of a user called Administrator and I tell him format this as a list, show me the name and show me the value of the property called Language, which he doesn't know, it has to be Languages. So I can see here that the mailbox of Administrator has got for Languages set ENUS. This means that there are several Exchange components like non-delivery ports, UM voice prompts that will display information to a mailbox user in that preferred language, if that language is supported. Outlook Web Access is such a component as well. Now when you create a new mailbox enabled user, or when you move a user from Exchange 2000-2003 to Exchange 2007, the value of that property is not populated. Let's have a look. When I create a new mailbox, or that new mailbox, and I specify a password for that user, and I'm going to put the mailbox in a database called Mailbox Database, and the user principal name will be user123 at nwtraders.com, and the username will be user123. When I have a look now at that mailbox of user 123, I will see that there is no value pre-populated for languages. So when I go to do it, the shell and say, get me that mailbox of user 123, show me the output as a list, and just show me the name of that user and show me the value of the property called languages. Languages. I will see that there is no language specified. This means that the first time that my user will log into Outlook Web Access, he will be prompted with the following page. Let me show you. I go to Outlook Web Access and I log in as user123, specify my password and I click on Log On. My user will be prompted with this page where he has to choose the primary language for Microsoft Outlook Web Access. This choice, as you can see, will determine the language the program will use for all items. So when I say, for example, let's go to French France, for example, and I say, OK, that's great. I will see that when I go back to the shell in the meantime, and when I go back to this shell line, get me that mailbox, format it as a list, show me the name in the languages field, I will see that now the language is pre-populated or populated with the language FR, French. Now you may wonder, isn't it possible to pre-populate that property? Because when you move users from Exchange 2000, 2003 to 2007, they're not used to getting that question about choosing a language. Now it is possible to pre-populate that value by changing the value of a property on your Outlook Web Access virtual directory. Let's have a look. When I go to my when I ask the shell to show me all OAP virtual directories, I will see that I have quite a few. I've got one for Outlook Web Access, Exchange, Public, XWeb and Xadmin. I'm going to configure something on the OAP virtual directory called default website OWA. So I'm going to say, OK, set me that OWA virtual directory, OWA virtual directory, and set the value of OWA default website, default website, that's the one I want to change. So set the Outlook Web Access virtual directory OWA between brackets default website. And I want you to change the value of default client language. That's what I want him to change, default client language. Now the trick is, you need to define the language using its local ID, which is a local ID using the decimal value. If you would like to get a list of all these values, please check the following website. You need to go to www.microsoft.com forward slash global dev forward slash reference forward slash LCID dash all MSPX. And what you will see is you will get a list of all languages specifying LCID decimal and hexadecimal. For the shell, you require the decimal value. So let's see, if I want to set the language 
to be a English United States, I need to specify this value. So I'm going to keep this in mind, 1033. And I'm going to go back to my shell and I'm going to say, OK, default client language is 1033. And I'm going to change this. Now what happens? When I go back to an existing user, the language will not be changed. He chose a language, that language is his. But any new mailbox that I create that doesn't have that value pre-populated will get the default language that I define. So let's see, if I create a new mailbox, um, a new mailbox user uh, 456, for example, and I specify again, I specify a password, say mailbox database, user principal name, user 456, at nwtraders.com, voila, same thing as before. Let's see if he's got a property set for the languages field. Get me that mailbox of user 456, show me that as a list, show me the name and show me the value of the property called languages. I will see it's not pre-populated. Let's see what happens. When I go to Outlook Web Access, I'm going to log in as NW Traders user 456, specify the password, and you will see that immediately he will get inside his mailbox and the language will be the default language will be taken over. So when I go back to the shell, ask for that property, that language will still not be set, but he uses the default language which is defined on the Outlook Web Access virtual directory. That user will still be able to go to his options, go to regional settings, change the language to whatever language he prefers. So he can still change his language to another language of his choice. So I can still go to French France, save, and I can do a refresh and I will have my French Outlook Web Access again. When I go back to the shell, I will see that now the value is populated to FR. FR. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Ilse van Kriekingen and I hope to see you again later on. Bye-bye.